Hello my friends, Christopher Barrelette with the Barrelette Collection at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. I am here with another great new construction opportunity in sunny Harmony, Florida. Today, July 21st, 2021, I am here at Lakes at Harmony showcasing all that Jones Home USA has to offer in this 55 and better community. Now in my previous video for the Wilford model, I go over the amenities and important info in regards to Lakes at Harmony. Please click the link in the description and or check out that video for a full rundown as I won't go into it again here. Then you can come back and see the full profile on this home. Jones Homes USA is known for their luxury options and finishes available throughout all of their homes. They want you to have the same feel walking into your newly built home as you do in the model, so they include many of the extras that others do not. When it comes to Lakes and Harmony, they didn't disappoint in this arena at all. Your kitchen island pendant lights, uh, your backsplash, the crown molding in the common areas, uh, uh, all the tile in the common areas as well, utility sink, the quartz countertops, and all your appliances are all standard features that you'll find here. One thing that is definitely the feature for me is the amount of windows. Their designs are big on having a good amount of windows and natural light throughout the home. We are in the Verona, and it has three bedrooms, three bath, is a two car garage, and it has just under 2,000 square feet. I chose to feature this model because I fell in love with how they use the layout. Perfect for downsizing and not feeling like you are losing it all with how well that they use the space in this home. Currently, the starting price uh, at the time of filming is in like the mid 300,000s. Uh, this is before your lot and maybe any potential upgrades and have a couple options on lot size. The Verona itself offers three distinct elevations. So let's go ahead and take a look at the layout and let's see what you think. Upon walking up to the Verona, one is greeted with a very uh, exquisite kind of modern style. And I think that this is something that is very indicative of Jones Homes. Uh, throughout all of their neighborhoods and places that I've been, I've definitely seen something uh, that gives a distinct flavor that is a Jones style. Um, and it's kind of a mix between kind of a classic and modern look. It's definitely something not that we see normally around here and something that you can definitely see when you see a Jones Homes. Uh, but the uh, Verona has, a, I think, a great styling overall. I love the choice of the numbers and the colors, differentiation, the ways they add certain things. This elevation, I think, is absolutely great. Uh, the way that it has kind of the stone column there um, and some of the different wood, uh, not wood, but the way that they do like these little, you know, cross, I'm not sure what you call those there. Uh, but the way they do those, again, just gives it a nice uh, sort of style overall. So I really do enjoy that. Uh, nice, big, tall door. So a grand feel uh, big and open kind of front area your pavers and, and such are going to be standard for you as well so kind of what you see here with your uh, your driveway and your uh, walkway and the walkway here those are going to be standard for you as well in the front and the back we'll also be taking a look at that um, so I really love that love this tall door here just absolutely amazing uh, so let's head on in Oh, wow. All right. So I love the front foyer and hallway. Nice and wide, and it definitely gives you an open feel right from when you're walking right in. Uh, so taking a look at this, now, I love what they've done with the wall here, kind of adding uh, to that to give it a little bit more flair. And this is definitely something more than, than what you see. Now, I think that's going to be an upgrade or aftermarket option that's available for you. But you have some of that typical spacing, something to put, you know, furniture or a piece here. 
um, and then you kind of get into the layout going from there. Uh, so first we're walking into the left here is going to be uh, a kind of den or office well it's a room that they have available obviously you can use it for however you want they've got it set up as a really nice uh, secondary entertainment area so I love what they've done here to kind of show you some of the options and upgrades that are available um, and how you can really touch and change the home to do differently uh, for you I love the size of this window again great amount of light and being that front window is going to be part of that curb appeal that's out front uh, but the room overall here is going to be a great size whether you use as uh, something like this uh, for an office or for a den uh, you can definitely have any of the, those options in here all right so you got uh, the bathroom up front here that's going to be for if you know you have someone that stays up in this room here they'll have a bathroom available uh, to have the shower here and of course window in the shower all right get some nice light and as I mentioned to you before remember that tile uh, that kind of goes all the way up uh, to the ceiling. So again, this is one of those, those Jones Home features, one of those that's something that they do that you just don't get everywhere that's going to get that kind of luxury, even in uh, your smaller bathroom that's up front. I love the kind of brass, dark brass finishes that they've chosen here as well. And again, having that natural light in the shower is a nice touch. Uh, so just showing you a bit on the cabinets. Don't forget the quartz countertops and things are going to be standard in here. And just give me some idea on the cabinetry and hardware for you. Uh, so you've got a front closet up here for any linens and things. So this kind of is a nice um, suite area if you have uh, someone that comes in to visit. This can be a great kind of guest room, bathroom, uh, suite area having all of that there. Uh, this door off to the right here is going to be into the garage of the home. Uh, so again, two car uh, garage being used for some storage there by the builder. Uh, and then into a open plan, which I think is absolutely perfect in kind of the way that it flows on through. But then also it kind of sections off the rooms there. So we jump down that hallway there and then the primary in the back. So we're definitely going to do that. But, uh, we'll go ahead and pop and look at the kitchen, which I think is a great size overall. Uh, so you got a lot of cabinets, a lot of cabinetry, wide, nice and wide cabinetry, which is absolutely great. Uh, so I love what they've done here. And again, showing you that backsplash that they're going to be including standard for you. The uh, pendant lighting that's included standard for you as well. And this quartz countertop. Now, I don't know if that bevel in there is something that's standard, but man, that is a great touch and feel. And I really do love that. Uh, so on this island, it's a good size. Um, definitely will seat about three, uh, I think, the most comfortably. Uh, for entertainment wise as well uh, so they definitely did a good job in showing you that and they you know have the sink and the dishwasher that's out on the island so it just spreads out the sink uh, spreads out the kitchen uh, uh, nice and well for being one that just kind of hooks around the corner here so very very nice setup your appliances stainless steel again are also included for you uh, here in the kitchen as well so that's something to keep in mind uh, very very nice setup on to your dining area which is right in between um, I love the fact that they've got two large windows out here on this side so again uh, instead of just having just you know one window it's kind of a double window and it's very large so it gives some great light overall there's plenty of space to have whatever size table I think that you'd like here this is a six seater but definitely will fit uh, something that's going to be an eight seat seater as well uh, so there's just plenty plenty of room in this space you would be able to do whatever you'd like here you could put uh, you know rug under this table something like that to create a little more definition in the space as well um, now they went ahead on this wall here and did kind of a, an installation something to show you you're gonna have this space here uh, so definitely want to keep in mind is something that you might want to do it could be something like this something more decorative um, but what if you were to uh, add some cabinetry here maybe put something else here that um, countertop that would add a little bit more uh, to the kitchen as well now this is something that you would do after uh, the home is built after market. I don't think that they offer necessarily options just to add more cabinetry over here, but you could do something like that to where you can create a bar space, something like that. I think that'd be really, really great uh, right off the side. Uh, so off from dining, you got the gathering room, gathering area. And I think, again, I think this is a great, great size. So no matter what kind of, you know, furniture setup that you're looking for, because there's definitely enough even for another chair here as well. Um, this is a great size couch overall. Uh, 
uh, but I think you can definitely do and you, and you can see with the size of the wall too and the insulation that they put here uh, how much you can really have so I mean it's a pretty large size TV there can be you know more than you have on the side left side here there could be more that you have on the right side as well uh, so I think there's definitely great size in the gathering room overall Again, this back wall here, they did the kind of uh, matching uh, installation, but you can also do something different and depending, you just want to have something in mind here because they kind of think they have, they have this wall that's fairly big and they should have something here. Uh, so a very nice setup overall on the gathering area. So before we head outside, take a look at that in primary, let's pop back down this hallway. Uh, because this is going to be where some of our other features of the home are. Uh, now important to some, I'm sure, is the laundry room area. So we have that to the right here. Now I love the fact that it's got a good size to it for the machines. You've got the utility sink, which don't forget, that's actually going to be a standard uh, in the community here. Um, but all of the room that you have for the cabinetry above, um, this can, you know, kind of, depending on what you do here, work as a workstation for you. Uh, so I really like when you have more room in your laundry room, as well as having that utility sink, I think is a great idea. And you got the extra room here in the laundry room. Uh, so on into, let's see, let's head on into the bedroom here. Uh, before we do, there is a small linen closet right in the hallway here. Uh, so a little bit of storage for linens and things there. Uh, this bedroom is definitely a good size, I would say. Probably more of your typical, uh, I'll have the dimensions of course for you, but uh, this one, it's, it's a good size. Uh, it's got the window um, here, but it's a little bit wider, I think, than the typical kind of single window. And that's just one of those things, again, which is a little bit different on the Jones home, uh, is that they want to make sure that there's a lot of good light throughout. Um, so you've got just the slide door closet here, which I think I might like a little bit better than when the door comes out and uh, versus the accordion door. So I think I like that style a little bit better as well. Uh, let's head on into this bedroom here, which is probably going to be very similar in sizing uh, as well. But oh, wow, great style. Love what they did um, with on the walls here and kind of putting that wood around again. These are just some great ideas to kind of let you know things that you can do. Uh, to take your home into the next level. So it's absolutely phenomenal. So again, a, a, a typical kind of size, I think overall here, what I really think is, is a star is that the windows seem to be a little bit bigger uh, and how they've done to show you some of the luxury touches in the home as well. So again, the size of the closet for you, just so you have that should be about what you need. And then those rooms are gonna, you know, pop into this bathroom when it's time to freshen up. And again, looking at that great tile work that they've done all the way up to the ceiling. I really, really like that. So standard feature, not an option for you. Uh, and again, just did a little shelving here. Just ways that they've done it are the ways that you get that luxury touches fit right in. And I really do love uh, the countertop cabinetry here that they have and they can definitely show you that luxury feel and touch all right so let's head on to the primary bedroom I think it's a great uh, you know what which one should we go first outside should we go inside I think we, let's go outside let's take a look out here and then we'll finish up in the primary bedroom there right that's probably what everybody wants to see so all right so uh, I think they've done a great job on giving you some ideas as far as the covered patio area here uh, now this is a nice larger size covered patio I like the way it's got room as you can see for the furniture here um, and then they've got an outdoor kind of kitchen setup uh, so very very nice on giving you ideas letting you know about the amount of space you have imagine if you didn't have this you'd be about another you know what two feet of room on this on this area here so very very nice setup and they've got some added uh, patio and things to kind of just give you an idea and show you some of the things that you could add to do. Something seated there with a bit of a fire pit can be done, uh, pergola, water fixture. So just to give you some ideas. But I think the size overall of this patio area is phenomenal. Especially again for a home size, you're not wanting anything too crazy and big. But this space area they've done and made it a little bit grander and, and bigger for you. So I like that. All right, let's head back on in and take a look at this primary bedroom. All right. Yes, very nice. I do like this. I like the setup of that. 
Oh, well, that's not something we see all the time. I love that too. Okay, so I love we got two windows. And again, we typically, we kind of see that on the other side of the bed. Uh, but I love this window right up here that's nice and large, bringing some light from around on the patio. So that is absolutely great. Um, looking at it, I love the setup of the crown moldings and what they've done in the ceiling again to just give you some ideas and the touches as a great aftermarket upgrade that's available. Uh, size of the room overall is great because uh, I think not only as you can see with a particular furniture and bed and everything but even this space is kind of unused it could be something of a seating area kind of right here uh, chairs that'll fit right in here i think would absolutely be perfect uh, for this room so it's got just a little bit more uh, than just the uh, uh, you know space around the uh, furniture so i love that and then heading on into the primary bath Oh my, another window. We have love it. This is definitely our type of home. Uh, so just looking at this bathroom again, instead of having that one mirror right across the whole wall, uh, they went ahead and changed it up, broke it up with a nice great window uh, in there for you just to give you folks some natural light right in between you. So I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, the shower again, just showing you all of the work that they do, that tiling all the way to the ceiling there. This is a great frameless uh, uh, enclosure that you've got here just to kind of show you that. Uh, so I love the style and what they've done here with the shower as well. Again, having that window in there uh, to give you some natural light is just an absolute, my favorite feature of all these homes. Uh, so on into the primary closet, which I think is a, a great size for whatever you might need to do. And again, always if you can do a custom setup that will use the uh, closet out very, very well. And then you've got your commode kind of separated in the door here. Uh, so right in the back there, and I think it's just a great use of the layout overall. Uh, 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 the bathroom is very, very nice luxury touches and just kind of the way that they do everything is absolutely All right, my friends, that was the Verona. I really hope that you enjoyed this layout. I definitely did, as I mentioned before. I think it's just absolutely phenomenal and kind of gives some definition, gives uh, folks that there's kind of space in the home uh, so I really did enjoy that if you'd like any more information on this home any other home in the community or area please give us a call at 407-325-4904 you can search homes directly at jointhecollection.com I will see you in the next one and as always I invite you to join the collection